Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel, Taylor May. And tonight we're going to be talking about the different types of vinyl that you can use to make different types of crafts at home using the Cricut Explore Air 2 or the Cricut Explore Air or the Cricut Maker, whichever model you have. And you can also use these vinyls with the Cameo Silhouette. And I'm pretty sure you can use it with other types of cutting machines, but I'm only familiar with the Cricut brand and the Cameo Silhouette. So I'll be going over the different types of vinyls that can be used with the cutting machines to make different projects at home. So when I first kind of got into the Cricut world, as they would say, making different stuff and crafting, I didn't have any idea what type of vinyl to use and so I would search search around, watch different videos on how-to videos, trying to learn, just researching, trying to learn what type of vinyl I need to use depending on the different project that I was working with because it does make a major difference and it's very important to know. So. I'm here to share a little bit of that information with you. I didn't really realize that there were so many different types of vinyl. You know, I just thought, hey, all right, there's one type of vinyl I can use for everything, from shirts to tumblers to making car decals. I just thought it was one type of vinyl, but it's not. There's many different types of vinyl for specific things. All right, so as I stated, <laughs> This goes if you're using a Cricut machine or if you're using the Silhouette Cameo. So I did a little bit of research and you know, it's kind of confusing, but I'll just jump right into the different kind of vinyls, the basic vinyls that can be used. So I have, we're gonna start with the Oracle 631 vinyl, which is removable vinyl. This type of vinyl is good for projects that's temporary I say mostly like indoor projects. It's adhesive vinyl. It lasts a little while. Um, it's ideal if you want to do like a wall decals, phone case um, stencils for phone cases, and different types of interior decorations. I have some here on the table. Adhesive vinyl. You can use these over here. For the adhesive vinyls, the brands that I'm showing you tonight, they're all by Cricut. And you have the holographic, the glitter vinyl. You have the ones that are in the permanent glossy, permanent brilliant finish by Cricut. You have the different types of glitter color vinyl here, which is the adhesive vinyl. You have it, it comes in different colors. And on this, and this is the transfer tape. And the reason I put this here is because once you cut your design out on the Cricut machine and you weed it out with your weeding tools that you're gonna weed it out with, and then you get ready to transfer it over to the item that you're gonna transfer it over to, it's very important that you have transfer tape. This is by Cricut, but there's other different types of different brands of transfer tape that you can use but this one is by Cricut and it's really important to have if you're cutting out a design on the vinyl and you want to transfer it over to say you're making a design for a wine glass you will need to have the transfer tape to put on top of the vinyl to remove it in order to transfer it over to the wine glass all right so that's that the next type is the permanent Vinyl, a well-known brand for permanent vinyl. Cricut has a brand of permanent vinyl. This is more of a permanent vinyl. This one here that I've shown you previously is more of a permanent vinyl and it'll stay it on the tube if it's permanent and it says it's permanent glossy. A um, well-known brand is the Oracle 651 vinyl. It's permanent vinyl. And the way that you know that it's Permanent Oracle 651, it states, it's, it states it on the back, Oracle 651. And Oracle is the brand, and the 651 number is the 
permanent vinyl. It comes in different colors. I have a few colors here to show you the different colors. But there's a wide variety of colors. It's just a few. So this permanent this vinyl, the Oracle 651 and permanent vinyl, it can stand up for heavy use. It's even been used in commercial signs. For commercial signs, it's water resistance. It can be used outdoors, indoors. It can withheld the weather outdoors, the rain. Um, you can even use it on temporary items, you know, temporarily. But if you try to remove it, it's going to be a little bit harder to take off than the the 631 vinyl or the adhesive vinyl. So the permanent vinyl can be used to make mugs, your tumblers, anything outdoors, outdoor signs, car decals. I actually used this to make a car decal that I have on my vehicle right now. And it's been out in the rain, it's been through the snow, it's been through all types of weather, the heat, and it's still there. It's not showing any signs of peeling up or anything. I use this, the Oracle 651 vinyl for the car decal that I've made. And there's all, there's various types of projects that you can make using the permanent vinyl. Okay, so, and I've also put it on a few of my plastic cup tumblers. If you wanna see how I've done that, just leave a comment down below in the comment section and I can let you know how to make that and also like I was saying you can use it on the plastic tumbler cup I wouldn't suggest you put it in a dishwasher but the plastic tumbler cups that I've made with the permanent vinyl the Oracle 651 I put in that cup through the dishwasher several times and the vinyl is still intact but if I was doing it for a customer, I wouldn't recommend that they put it in the dishwasher. Hand wash it, it'd be perfectly fine. It won't show any signs of peeling up or removing. Okay, so you can decorate anything from mugs, your wine glasses. I've used it. This is actually the, um, this here sign I use the adhesive vinyl, which is not the permanent vinyl. It's this adhesive vinyl. I should have used permanent vinyl because as you can see, the adhesive vinyl, it does, it's not for long-term use. It is peeling up, but I've had this for a while, almost a year now. Some of it's still intact, but then you can see like on some of the thinner letters, letters it's coming up. But the permanent oracle, 651 vinyl, I can attest to it being heavy, heavy duty. It lasts a long time. Like I said, I have a car decal on my car and it's lasting. It's lasted through the rain, snow, hot temperatures, and it's still on it and it still looks as if it was just applied. All right, so I'm going to move on to the next type of um, vinyl that I'm going to show you guys tonight. And it's the very popular HTV, better, you know, known as heat transfer vinyl, but better known as HTV vinyl. And this type of vinyl is used to make um, designs and you can put designs on t-shirts. It's the iron, it's the iron on vinyl that you need if you're gonna make things such as t-shirts. You can iron designs on bags towels and things of like that and it's made for those type of iron-on projects because it can withstand the high temperatures of heat that you're going to use to make those so that's why it's very important when you're doing iron-on designs to get the HTV vinyl because it can withstand the heat and it's made for those to adhere to the clothing items or the fabric items that you're going to be using so it's very popular with making t-shirts, custom t-shirts. It comes in a variety of brands. Here I have the Strong Bun brand, Iron On, and it's Everyday Iron On by Cricut. 
it comes in the Sizer brand, the Sizer heat transfer. And this is the glitter. It comes in glitter, solid colors, the holographic colors, and you just have the shiny foil types of um, HTV here. These, these three on the end are all by Cricut. I got this from my online company. I think it was from Pro World. And this one is Sizer, and this is a Strong Bun Everyday Iron On HTV by Cricut. So it comes in a variety of different brands. You just gotta kind of find out which one works best for you, and you go from there with it. So there is one by Sizer called the Easy V, and it's by this company here. It's the Sizer HTV Easy V. This is one of my favorites. It's uh, it's amazing. It holds up through the washing machine. I've done shirts and I washed them several times and it holds up really good, the Sizer brand. I love this brand here also. The one that I got from Pro World Online, the glitter. Cricut, you just gotta kinda figure out which one works best for you. I find that the Strong Bone holds up very well. So, for the HTV, the different types of projects you can use, you can use for the HTV, you can use it for t-shirts, socks, tote bags. I've made tote bags and t-shirts with this um, stuffed animals. You can kind of customize stuffed animals, towels, shoes, anything that's made of any type of fabric material. And there's room to put on a design or a name, any kind of personalization that you want to use. If there's room to put it on, it's made of any type of fabric. You can pretty much use this HTV for those type of projects. And if it can handle the heat, then go for it. So, all right, next we're gonna move on to the printable vinyl. Printable vinyl, um, It comes with adhesive vinyl and it also comes with HT vinyl. I have one here, it's called, it's by Cricut. It's the printable vinyl by Cricut. And this is it, and you can use it to pretty much, um, let's see, any type of project that you can, you can use it with your inkjet printers. Your, and with, or with your Cricut Explorer or Cricut machine, you can actually send it through a regular inkjet printer. You can, it's good for uh, making like whole designs, like you want to print on a whole design, like they're showing you here on the printer. And then you just peel it back and you place it on the design once you print it out. It's really good, I've used it before. So that's the printable vinyl, and this is the adhesive type. It also comes with the um, transfer, the heat transfer printable type. And I don't have any of that right now to show you guys, but this here is the Cricut brand printable vinyl. It's good for printing out whole designs. You want to print them out to do little different projects with. You can print it out, send it through your inkjet printer. Or you can send it through the Cricut machine to cut it out. All right, so let's see. We pretty much covered the basics for the vinyl. We can just go over it again. So the different types of vinyl, you have the non-adhesive, the non-permanent vinyls. That's good for temporary surfaces, temporary projects. And you have them by Cricut. There's other brands that have the non-adhesive, non-permanent vinyl. Well, the adhesive, non-permanent vinyl. There's other brands other than Cricut. And they come in the glitter, the holographic, solid colors. Pretty much, and there's different types of patterns also that it comes in. So that's for your temporary surfaces, temporary projects that you wanna 
that you want to do. And Oracle has a has a brand and it'll say Oracle 631. And then moving on to the permanent vinyl, it's adhesive permanent vinyl. You have your matte finishes. They have glossy finishes. It comes in a variety of different colors. It's good for outdoor use. It can be used for indoor use. It can be used to make your homemade sign, your your home your signs for your home outdoors, indoors. It can be used to make personalized mugs, coffee cups, tumblers. It's good. It, it holds up. Like I said, I put it through the dishwasher and it holds up. It just depends on, you know, your preference. So that's the Oracle 651 brand. And then we talked about the heat transfer, which is good for your t-shirts and any type of fabric surfaces that you're, you want to personalize or customize with designs. And it can be layered. It requires you to use heat. That's why it's called heat transfer vinyl. It requires you to use an iron or you can use a heat press. And it's the HTV that you use to make your t-shirts, your towels, your tote bags, any type of fabric designs. And it can withhold the heat temperatures. That's why you don't want to use any of these type of vinyls if you're doing projects such as the t-shirts because it won't withhold the heat and it will easily peel up but this you can put it through you use the HTV on a t-shirt or fabric you put it through the washing machine and it holds up you won't have to worry about it peeling up and there's different brands Cricut makes a brand of HTV sizer you can order them from different stores online this one's from Pro World it comes in different colors. It comes with the glitters, the solid colors, holographic colors, and this is the full HTV. It also comes in stretchable HTV, the mesh HTV. There's all different types of HTV heat transfer vinyl that's out there that you can find. So I hope that I covered pretty much the basic type of vinyls that you can use to cut out designs and make different projects with using your Cricut machine or your Silhouette Cameo machine. This is pretty much the basics, just to give you a pretty, you know, overall idea of the different types of vinyls that you can use. It's really important to know what type of vinyl you're gonna be using for what project. It's really important to know when I first started out using and making crafts, using the Cricut machine, I didn't know what type of vinyl to use. I had to do my research. I just thought, oh, I can buy this machine and I can just start. No, you have to research and know what type of vinyl you're going to use, how to use it. And most of them come with the instructions on the inside. Most of them come with the instructions on the inside of this. If you peel this back, most of them come with the instructions. It comes with the, the HTV. I know it's Cricut brand. They give you the heat settings on the inside of this paper. Most of them come with the temperature heat settings on what you want to set your heat press on on your iron, what you're using to press it on for the heat temperatures. So I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And if you wanna have any ideas on the next, what, have any ideas of, you wanna know anything, just let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I hope you found this information helpful. I mean, it should be helpful, especially if you're just starting out. Even if you're not starting out, we all need a refresh every now and then, so give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know your thoughts, and thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good night.